tell you what, I found some things in my time, but what an absolute stunning find. Check this out. Check that out for a bit of scenery. Absolutely stunning. Now the farmer's cut this one. Now we've got this one and the one at the bottom and the hill that runs right over the back here. Pillbox just there. Now right beside me just here is where his dad's old house used to be. Now it come up on the maps. Uh, at first I thought it might be on the other side of the bush but it was just here and the road run to just where that bungalow is just there. So, I thought we'd come up. Grass is a tad bit long, even though it's cut it. Uh, in places it's really, really short, and in places it's long, but mustn't complain. Using the Garrett Ace Apex, using a Double D Raider coil. Was going to use the bigger coil, but I thought we'd stick with the Raider coil for now. Uh, we'll give you a rundown on the settings we're going to be using, but we're going to get on and see what we can't find, and we'll see you at the first. Right, once I've our first signal, do you have to really walk far? A bit of a jumpy one. Seventy-seven. Going down in seventies. It's jumping. Mind you, this grass is a little bit long, but it's not dying. So, all right, let's find out what that is. All right, first target. There you go. That's what it was. Just a bullet. Got off nice little tones though. Jumping all over the place, I think, because it was so deep. Just gonna a quick rundown on the settings we're using. We're running it in relic mode. We've notched on three. Multi frequency mode, sensitivity two from top. Volume eight, I've got iron volume on zero. Ground balanced it. In the in this kind of grass, you want to be round about 45 to 50, I would say, on the ground balance. So do it a few times, do it every half hour, I do, but that's what we're running with. Double D radio cord as well. First target, bullet. This one was pretty sketchy. A proper, proper sketchy tone that was giving off. I think it could be a coin. Let's have a look. It's round. Is it a coin though? Yeah, what is that? That is crispy. Look how crispy that is. So that's got iron on it. So we'll give it a clean up when we get back. I'm not going to scratch it too much, but we'll give it a clean up when we get back. See who's on it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. That is really crispy, that. Proper, proper crispy one. So I'm thinking the well was somewhere there. We're going to have a look in a minute. Carry on walking along the edge. Check this out. I'm not sure if that's actually to a cap gun or a real gun. What do you reckon? If you look at the size of the chamber parts there I don't know someone in the comments might be able to tell me but I think that is off a proper gun we're going to go in there and have a little look a bit more see if we can't find the rest of it but yeah what strange little find that is up here oh, so, oh we're always going through the uh, grass quite well it's just dead grass. It's jumping around just slightly in the 70s there, but it's a lovely tone. Just there, right in front of the coil. Right, let's find out what that is. Yeah, you see there, screaming tone. Up the can. Right, we're going to have a little look on this grass bit just here. It's the only bit that ain't grown no field part on it. We're going to have a little look around there and at the top. So it's about... That's what last target was, just a 
can be really high tone there. Usually I can tell with the cans, but in this field with the, the grass being a little bit long, I'm just gonna dig mostly every tone. All right, we was behind the bush, just around the corner, but I'll tell you what, the amount of green waste there is just in that corner bit alone was, uh, I had to get out of there. I dug quite a bit of green waste out of there. So what we've done is, look at the view. And uh, got all the bottom field, all this one. One right down there. There's the pub right at the very bottom. The field just behind is where I had all the moments from, but we're gonna make our way just up, just around this part of the hill. We've got the field there as well, which goes right over the far back. But, yeah, it's, it's been tough going so far. This one was a uh, 73, 74, but really sketchy old tone. I'm not sure if it's part of a crotal bell or part of some sort of pipe. I have no idea on that. There's no patterns on nothing, but yeah, that's what that is. All right, let's carry on. Oh, this one was screaming quite high. Check this out. First, when I saw that, I thought, ah, uh, just some sort of bit of a bit of lead or something, but check out the patterns on the front of that. That's pretty neat, that. I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. But yeah, we're just uh, hunting around this top bit. So we're going to probably just go around here. I'm not going to go too close to the trees over there because it seems to be a lot of cans, but stick around this bit. Yeah, a bit nice target. Right, this one was a 73, 74. As soon as I got it to the top, it was an 83. I've been digging a few 73, 74s, which has been a few cans at the top here, but check this out. I think I've got a military button. It's definitely a button. There's the shank. I can see on there, looks like a lion's head. And I think that's a lion there. What we do is when we get back those, we give it a proper good clean up. Give it another rub. Give it a proper, proper good clean up. We'll find out what button that is. But I'll tell you what, oh, that's a stunning little button. And that's just there where the pillbox is. Just working around the pillbox here. And there you have it. Stunning little button. Oh, wicked. Right, let's carry on. And we're getting some really old uh, grunty tones as we're going down. And I've got some iron in that. Yeah, it's got that kind of irony grunt. We're going to dig it anyway. I, don't know, I thought it was a bit of iron, but just a little bit of uh, tinfoil. I think that's because it was right on the top. It wasn't even really buried. It was just sitting on the top. That's what was giving me the faulty grunty kind of tone. But while well, I stop for a break, I'm going to take you for a little walk around the pillbox. Show you around in there. As you can see from up here, you can see for miles that way, and you can see all the way over there to the Thames Estuary. Right over there to the other side. We're in Essex. Right over there is where DD UK lives. Oh, Scotty. But yeah, we're going to stop for five, and have a little walk around inside there. Then we're going to carry on around here. Alright, this is the. Uh, the uh, pillbox on top of the hill. Alright, show you around. Oh, the old sun, so you got each way, all the way across the hill. You can see for miles in here. One straight in the front, and that. Uh, so you can see all across the estuary. Yeah. Then it goes all the way around. And you've got the uh, firing cover for the whole way around it. But, and another one for the sides. But what I like about these bunkers, well, pillboxes, see the way it's been angled. The window, that's so you can get your gun tight to the wall, so you can shoot down them and get them real tight angled firing. I wouldn't want to have been attacking one of these back in the day. 
that's what it looks like. It's a bit of a mess in here. It's not really that tall either. Wasps is just there, so we're gonna make our way around here so we can get ready to get out. But that's what it looks like in here. Mm, you can run down one side or run down this way. Grabbed your gun. Got all shelves. Would have been shelves, they would have. The old metal things are coming out, but yeah. That's what it looks like. And I'll show you what it looks like on the front. It's all overgrown. It's all around. Sorry about the wind. But just imagine coming up having to attack one of these. Look. Uh, each window will give you full, full cover all the way round. Just situated on the side of the hill. Quite a few of these in Kent. But we're just going to carry on around this bit. If we find any more bullets, because we found about seven or eight, if we find any more, we're just going to make our way down to where we had that stunning farm, which I'll show you when we get down there. But yeah, that's the old pub down there. We're going to make our way and probably down that way in a minute. But as I say, we'll stick up there, work our way around this bit, and see what we can't find. Getting quite a few of the old bullets now. Hey, another one. Yeah, we've got something to stay inside it, that one. It's been shot though. Yeah, getting loads of them. All around near the old, uh, where the old uh, pillbox is. Maybe they were just practicing firing. Let's see how many more we find around here. If not, we move down. Don't to be finding these all day. All right, let's carry on. Well, I just had a bit of a can there. The can was a 73, 74. So I took the can out, went back over it, and there was a 55 still in there. So I thought I'd dig it out because I thought it might have been the top part of the can, but it weren't lucky. I did dig it. Check this out. <clears throat> Sorry about that. A bit of a dry throat, need a drink. But that, I think that says Royal. Uh, I can't really read what that says, as you know I'm dyslexic, so when I get back I'll find out from my wife what that exactly says, but I've never seen one of them before. Looks like a pin would have gone into there, but check that out. Oh, that's stunning, that is. And that's right next to the um, pillbox there. Oh, what an absolute stunning find that is. I'm over the moon with that. Oh, I'm going to stick around here. All right, let's carry on. All right, so we know where they've got their drinking water from now then. There's a well just there. God, that's quite wide, that. Oh, what was that? Well, oh, it's quite wide. It's got something metal over the top. But I wouldn't want to, uh, God, oh, that's just, yeah, I wouldn't want to stand on that. But there you have it, that's a well. It's part of an old well. So what we can do is we're gonna have a little hunt around the old well. Let's have a little hunt around here. See if there's anything, but the house was over there. His dad's house on the flat bit just over there and there's the well just there. Yeah, the farmer did say there was a well. Wasn't 100% exactly sure where it was, but now I know where it is. It's right there. All right, let's hunt around here. All right, the well's just behind me. It's just that solid 80 there. Well, I can get into solid 80. Yeah, it's in the 80s. 83, 84 now. Right, just in front of the core, let's find out what that is. Yeah, just now, part of an anti-aircraft shell, that is. Yeah. yeah see, it's made of brass, really thick, quite heavy pieces. Yeah. Let's stick around where the well is, the well's in. Gonna move over that way and not too sure whether that could be a second well. Not too sure what that's there for, but hmm, there's a big, it's a big old dog fence. Not too sure what you're catching with that, but yep. Yeah. So that last time was. All right, let's carry on. So you think that well 
is actually on the side of a hill. Well, he's sorry about shaking there. Digging up a few bits of these. So this must have been like the the bricks that sort of went around the outside, around the because they made them round. But I tell you what, that's filled right up with water. I bet you that's well deep. That we bring a bit of string up next time and a little weight, and we see how deep that really goes. But I wouldn't mind knowing how deep that actually does go because. As I say, we're on a hill. Three quarters of the way at the top. But yeah, oh, we'll keep around this bit. But you can see where it's raised up a little bit. Hard going so far. This one, 35. Well deep this one was. Just a button and it's absolutely demolished. You can see the shank on the back there. But that has been absolutely like run over with the plough about four or five times that looks like to me oh well as soon as I uh, turn the plug over it just flicked out it's that dry especially halfway down the hill and onto our first coin that's a Victoria Queen Victoria and look at that I can't see the date but I'll get a date off the bottom of it and we'll stick a date up but yeah, our first proper coin. We had one earlier which was really crispy. But we're gonna uh, probably go up down this bit then. Just keep here for a minute. Alright, that's what that was. Stunning little find though. Feel like finding the older Victorian coins. Alright, now we come down to this field. Now, the other day we went live on TikTok in this field and we had a few coins from up the far back. And just off the edge, just over the far corner there, these are the two bits that we had the other day. Now we had that lovely three ring, massive lead bullet. And off of this field, we had a stunning, which we now know is a Henry III short cross hammered coin. Now it's got a chip missing out of it. Now that was found three quarters of the way through the field, just over there. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our way towards the pub. Now we're locked in, in a fence all the way around here. And over there towards the pub, the green fence is where it's all been cut. And then back this way. So we're going to work down this end for a little bit and see what we can't find. But so far, it hasn't been a bad day. But yeah, they're the two bits from the other day when we went live. That was a live dig, that was. It was over the moon about that. We had a couple of coppers from up the far end as well. So, right, let's get on. Field two. See what we can't find. Oh, look at the size of this. And it's still got the timing strip on it. Anti-aircraft, the end bit, the, the, the actual shell itself, look. See all the dials there at the bottom? Oh, look at that. It's the whole end bit, the whole shell. Just not the, uh, the bottom part, but. Oh, I've never found a whole one like that. As I say, I've always found the timing strips. So the timing strip goes there at the top, as you can see. But look at the size of that. Oh, that's, that's a good find. I like that. Really deep. Really, really high tone and all. First thought it was going to be a can or something, but... Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. That's, that's that. I love my military stuff, and just to find something like that, I am over the moon with that. Oh, get in. Well, we'll give it a little clean up, and I'll sh take a few stills of that. But that is absolutely stunning. Get in. Across really, just doing bits and bobs of the field because we've not got much left, long left in us now. I'm absolutely getting hungry. We've done a few hours, and uh, that one there was quite high, high 80s. Just a little buckle, could be a little bell buckle, or it could be a little tiny shoe buckle. Really stunning. I've got loads of buckles, I do like collecting them. Apex is working really well, we're going on this field. Even though the grass is quite long, the double D Raider coil, what an absolute coil. If you've got the Apex, I've got to tell you, you've got to get that coil. That is the coil of coils, that coil. Pop over to Recton.com, they've got them in there. Tell you what, definitely get one. I love that coil. All right, let's carry on. Let's see what else we can find. Well, now I wanted to show you this one, just to, just to show you really how well the apex picks things up. Now that's a shot 
tiny little lead pellet, probably a 2-2. Two -two. Pretty deep there, and I'll tell you what, it was a sketchy tone, but it was a diggable one. It goes to show you. Hey, so we're going to make our way over that way a little bit and then probably call it a day today. And then next time we come back, probably hit that end and the other side of the hill, which is right over the far back. But, yeah, picked it up lovely. Right, let's carry on. Hey, last signal of the day. And we found our first ever car. First ever toy car, little Ferrari. Really, really high tone. At first I thought it was going to be a, uh, a can because it gives off the same tone as a can does, the car does. But look at that. That's to be first ever. But that's our last target here today. Tell you what, we haven't done too bad. We've had some stunning little finds. So yeah, thanks every single one of you for coming every week, watching me videos, um, and leaving a lovely comment. If there is anything that you want me to try with the Garrett Ace Apex, any settings that you need to know of, if you look me up on Facebook, add me on Messenger, and I'll help you out the best I can with the information I know and all the experience that I have with Gavit Ace Apex. So, right into my next adventure. That was my last target. A lovely little Ferrari. I'm absolutely starving, and I will catch you at the next. Mm -hmm.